What's up guys, you're weekly here. There is lockdown in many states of India and many states are expecting lockdowns. And if you are one of those fitness enthusiasts who wants to maintain your fitness, even if your city goes for a lockdown, I'm going to teach you exercises that you can do at home with just a pair of dumbbells or two. You don't even need a bench, okay? Today I've got two pairs of dumbbells with me. 30 pound pair and 17.5 pound pair so that I can demonstrate you multiple exercises with considerable resistance. The ideology of the exercise is this. We are going to choose two to three exercises per body part and we are going to do it straight on. For example, I'm going to do two exercises for chest like how we do in a compound set one after the other and then I'm going to move on to the next body part without rest, which means we are going to do a long circuit of exercises. So I'm going to be choosing 40 exercises in this circuit so that I train every part of my body and into it we are going to have supersets and trisets for each muscle, which means each muscle is thoroughly pumped and there is no gap between exercises, which means along with resistance training, it's going to make it into a cardiovascular exercise also. The advantage is you get a good pump, possibly build some muscle if you have heavy weights at home and you burn a lot of fat in your cardiovascular. So the ideology is to start from the bigger muscle and then to proceed onto the smaller muscle. Legs being the largest group of muscle, I'm going to start with legs. Exercise number one is going to be fly squats, which is going to work my quads, hamstrings and glutes. 10 reps of each exercise. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, supersetting it with stiff leg deadlift, knees locked, feet close, all the way down and up. 10. Stretch your hamstrings. 2, 3. Feel it on the hamstrings. 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The second largest group happens to be your back. So the circuit goes on to dumbbell rowing, both arms, bend 45 degrees, row your boat, squeeze your back, stretch, squeeze your back, stretch, squeeze your mid back and stretch. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Exercise number four regular deadlifts, normal knee, and a little bit of bend helps you keep the load on your back. Ten, lock your back, shoulders backward, and chest up on top of the movement. Many people keep it like this, which is not the right way. You keep your shoulders a little arched back, you generate better contraction and your spine is in a much stable position. Four exercise is done. The third largest group happens to be your chest. I'm going to start with an isolation. No bench, so a little bit of trick on the top. Hold your dumbbell like B so that you can contract your chest better. Move it up till you reach the floor. Don't rest it on the floor. Run. Up, 10, 9, 8, squeeze it, 7, 6, when you don't have enough weight, the stronger you try to contract, the better you stimulate the muscle, the weight is not much, but this is the third circuit, okay, next is going to be chest press, instead of pressing it on your lower chest level, I try to point my elbows a little upward and go up so that I can work my upper chest and squeeze. If you see, I've done two rotations earlier. One for a trial run, two for my Tamil channel. So if you don't follow English, Tamil video is available on my Tamil YouTube channel. I'll share the link below on this video. After the chest, the fourth, Largest group happens to be your shoulder. 
I start with rear tilt raises. When your ankle goes backwards, it works more of a lat, so try to bring your elbows forward. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go much for the third rotation. Even after 20 years of lifting, it's keeping me winded. Yeah, flat brace. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo. Now, for the front shoulders. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's next? Triceps. Keep back to the left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To the right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! One, two, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Oh, wow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Which muscle is left over? If you know, working out like this is already tough. And what I'm trying to do is, I'm talking non-stop so that you understand what I'm doing. And that puts a lot of stress on my breathing. But it's okay. This is educational. It's not about proving how easily I work out. If it is easy, then it ain't a workout. So after bicep skull, we move on to the 11th exercise. Hammer. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Wow. There's only one muscle left for resistant training now that you have. It's your calf. So I'm just going to do 20 calf raises. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. So that was one circuit. You do three to four circuits. If you're training with light weights, do three rotations. That's going to be awesome. And if you're training heavy, twice a week should be good enough. <coughs> and I'm sorry guys, that really winded out my system. Apologies for the disturbances, but it's okay. And we didn't see abdominal workout today, so I'll be placing a separate video very soon about abdominal exercise without any equipments that you can train at home. So if you can do two to three times of this workout, and two to three times of your abdominal workout in a week. That makes four to six workouts a week. Good enough. And throw in some cardio every day. Even if it's not for burning fat, just for your overall health, do some 20, 30 minutes of walking every day. You're not just going to maintain your health and fitness levels, but also do justice to your heart and improve your immunity. Science says workout can be a great trigger in improving your immunity. Yes, vaccine helps you the chance of fighting the disease better by reducing the severity. But what is better is prevention. Good nutrition, good resistance workout, and some cardio is going to keep your immunity in prime, which means you're going to battle off those germs and viruses better than a normal person. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and like the video. Do go down and like the video, give me a heart and 
whatever you feel about the video, you can comment below or if you have any questions, you can comment below. I'm going to come right through and answer all of the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notification about every new video I post about health, fitness, wellness and my personal vlogging if you like it. So until I see you on my next video, this is your weekly over and out.